Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another Workshop Wednesday. This week's edition is all about GA4. We're doing a quick little getting started topic here. This is on how to actually get your GA4 account set up in 10 minutes or less. And yes, you're going to be able to have those timers ready. You're going to see it live. Uh, or uh, at least, you know, you'll be watching this. So potentially be recorded, I guess, for you. So my name, by the way, is Chris Mercer. Welcome. If this is your first Workshop Wednesday, everybody calls me Mercer. You should as well. I'm one of the lead instructors here at measurementmarketing.io. And whether you found us through the podcast and talks about their giving through maybe some of the other uh, platforms we share a little bit of our content with, maybe you're already decided, I want to learn this measurement thing, and you're already a member, whether you're a free member of the Measurement Marketing Academy, a paying member of the Measurement Marketing Academy, however you have found us, we're happy that you are here. It is our job to help you learn this stuff, and that means focusing on one thing at a time. So you're going to see a bunch of different stuff, especially if you're new to GA4. So just practice one new thing you learned from this workshop, then you can back rewatch this workshop you'll pick up another new one thing. And that is how we learn things without getting overwhelmed and frustrated because these platforms have got a lot to them. So let's keep it as simple as we can. All right, let's go ahead and get started. It's time to set up Google Analytics 4 in 10 minutes or less. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We always start with the framework. Remember, we plan, we build, we launch because why? As marketers, we typically are just doing way too much guessing with our marketing. We need our marketing to produce revenue and profits. This is how we use measurement to do that. So we plan out our measurement, thinking about the questions we're going to answer, the information we can collect, and the actions we're going to take based upon the answers that we are about to get. Remember, you do this all before you start actually using a platform like Google Analytics 4. But today's workshop's in important because if you are using Google Analytics 4, you're going to be able to collect different information because that platform is a lot more flexible. Then you do the build. Now, we're not going to cover this today, but you would typically, once you have Google Analytics 4 properly set up, you make sure you're measuring the results you want to measure, that their traffic is properly identified so we know who, what, and why that traffic is coming in. And then you stitch it together in a way, and again, this is where you learn to use the GA4 platform a bit beyond the scope of today's workshop, but where you're going to get a natural story between which traffic is causing which results. Then we launch our measurement. This is where, of course, you would be looking at your GA4 reports to listen to the conversation. Again, just trends and patterns is what you're looking for to see what's working, what's not. We then forecast our near near futures based upon our recent past, and then we measure against those forecasts. That is how you use measurement to actually direct your marketing efforts so you can better optimize and improve your results. So that's the framework that we use for all of these trainings. Now, in today's episode, we're going to uh, hand it over to Julie Brade, Director of Measurement for MeasurementMarketing.io. So Julie, let's go ahead and uh, I've got my timer ready. I hope everybody else does. Go ahead and take it away. Get those timers ready. We are going to be setting up your Google Analytics 4 in 10 minutes. So it's ready for you to be able to collect data. So we are working under the assumption that you already have a Google Analytics account and you're ready to create a new property. But we're gonna take a little detour here just in case you don't already have an account or you need to create a new one. There is something in here that you may not be familiar with where you might need to uncheck this box. So if you are creating something for a client or a different part of your organization, and this is not the group that you want it to fall under, the organization that you want it to fall under, you have to uncheck this box to make sure they're not grouped together. For instance, if this is a client and you're creating something for a, another client, absolutely uncheck them. But if it's all your own company and everything, it is okay to keep it checked. So that's just one little side note detour. So let's go ahead, the clock is running, let's continue on. So we're gonna go ahead and create a property here and we're gonna name our property and we're gonna call it Setup GA4 in under 10 minutes. And we're going to choose the different uh, time zone that we need for our cart. So pro tip is always choose the time zone that your cart is in so that way Google Analytics and your cart are going to align more closely. You don't have to worry about the advanced options right now. So we're gonna go ahead and choose next. Because so all we're trying to do is hurry up and be able to get data inside of Google Analytics and we need a certain special pieces to do that. So let's continue on. For us, we're gonna go ahead and call it education. You can choose whatever it is that fits your needs better and go ahead and follow whatever these are. So we're gonna choose some of these things. Normally I kind of choose them all depending on what it is I'm doing. And so we're gonna go ahead and create so now we technically have a property. Yay! Now we just have to kind of finish up 
and uh, we're technically creating a data stream. Now that is basically the data stream is where all the data is going into. Um, so there are no views if you're familiar with Google Analytics or Universal Analytics uh, or GA3 as the term is now. Um, so we're creating a data stream. And so you choose whichever one matters or is uh, applicable to you. So we're going to choose web for us. And this is where you can choose the website URL. Now, you do not have to create a data stream for every URL you have, but just create one um, for, for the main website and then you can throw everything else in there. So measure, well, we're going to spell this right. So we have measurementmarketing.io and then we're going to call this our website name. So we're going to say measurementmarketing.io and then we're going to call this, I'm putting a little hyphen there just so I can make sure that I don't get this mixed up with anything else in our other accounts. And so now we have something that's called enhanced measurement and we're going to go ahead and keep this turned on. And we'll talk about all these different parts and pieces that we see here in just a moment in another section. So we're going to go ahead and create stream clock is still running. We are still good on time. So, I have not touched anything. It just automatically popped that screen up for us. And so there's something now called a Google tag, which is different from a Google tag manager. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it basically just think of it as a way that Google is consolidating and making it easier to measure um, across all of their different platforms. If you're not using a tool like tag manager, it still encourages you to use tag manager, but if you aren't or can't for some reason, then the Google tag is a way to consolidate like Google ads, optimize and all of that. Um, so you can kind of follow these prompts if you happen to have one of these things. However, if you are, you know, installing it manually on the page because you're using some sort of plugin or whatever, this is where you get your piece. So technically, you know, we're only a few minutes in and you could copy and paste this and you're good to go and you're starting to collect data. And so you've just set up your Google Analytics 4 in like five minutes. So we're going to continue on just because I want you to have a little bit more information as you go through so you can kind of see all the different parts and pieces um, that you might want to follow up with next. So if you are using Tag Manager and you're following some trainings and stuff and you know that your measurement ID is the part that you need. So this is the measurement ID that you need and you can copy it here and I'll show you how to get to it if you are not in this actual setup phase. So the next thing we see is enhanced measurement. And that's what we just saw a while ago when I said, hey, we'll come back to it. So let's go ahead and talk about this for just a moment. So by default, when uh, Google Analytics 4 is set up and it's going to start collecting data, whether you use your measurement ID or that other script that we just saw once it's on the page um, and it's measuring by default, it's going to look at page views. You can't even turn the sucker off. So you're good there. Um, scroll, but only if they get to the bottom of the page, meaning 90%. Uh, outbound clicks means if they click off of the page, site search, form interactions, video engagement, which is YouTube only, and then file downloads. So this is where if you are using Google Tag Manager and plan on using it, once you are ready, like once you have Google Tag Manager in control of scroll for GA4 and clicks for GA4 um, and other videos, you can go ahead and turn these off only when you're ready. So we're going to go ahead and keep these here. Now we didn't make any changes, so we don't technically have to save anything and we'll go ahead and go on. So there are uh, some other settings that you can go through once you are ready um, and not part of this particular workshop. That's going to be some, uh, you know, we have other courses, other workshops for that, but I just want to point out that you will want to come through here and finish going through what it is that you might need to do for your site. Some of us don't have to worry about this too much, but this is where if you need to you have lots of different domains and you cross domain, this is where you'll go ahead and put that type of stuff. And then most of the time you're going to put the exact same domains here under the referrals. So again, that's for your cross domain tracking. So your tracking doesn't break one important pro tip. We highly encourage you to not connect your universal analytics to your Google analytics for. The reason is most people don't have a universal analytics setup that is going to be a smooth transition to GA4. They're com two completely different machines. I like to compare it to a universal is your diesel engine and GA4 is your electric car. You're not going to put diesel and electric car and expect it to work properly. It's not. They're, their data models are completely different. 
um, it won't work efficiently the way you need it to. Um, and you're going to end up having to rebuild it anyway. So we highly encourage you not to do this. And same thing with this like manage connect, connect site tags. It's going to kind of urge you to prompt it. Just ignore it. If you have questions, use Ask Instructor Support. We're there to guide you and help you um, to make sure that you don't have to rebuild something um, later on. So let's go back to configure site tags. Click on the show all. And then um, you could adjust some of these other things as you go through the final setup. But right now, this pur pur purpose of this workshop is to make sure that you can go ahead and get set up and get your um, scripts on your page so you can start collecting data ASAP. And so we're going to go ahead and pop out of here. I just want to show you how to find this again so when you're ready for it, you can see it. So we are now here back where we started. If we needed to go in and talk and look at our property settings, here is some other information we needed. If we needed to adjust anything, let's go back real quick. Our data streams, and we have, this is the data stream, the thing that we set up. If we needed to adjust our measurement, we have that here. If we needed to adjust and configure our tag, what we just talked about where you will go through and adjust and configure your domains, as well as referral traffic, if you need to adjust any of that. And then when you're ready, you can go through the rest of the property settings where you can change some of the data retention. Highly encourage you to check that out if that's relevant to you. If you want to change it to two or 14 months, adjust those. If you have um, services that you use like Google Ads uh, or even Search Console, you can go ahead and get those linked as well. If you're using BigQuery, I encourage you to get that linked up ASAP as well um, to be able to do that. So that is how you get Google Analytics 4 set up in under 10 minutes so that you can have your scripts and everything ready to be able to deploy them so you can start collecting data. So one more time, we're going to go back into our data stream. We're going to come into the data stream here now like where do we find our scripts so remember this is the measurement id that you would need for google tag manager and if we go to configure tag settings there's all this fancy stuff that's kind of happening up here and again you can go through the learn more and kind of find more information out that but we can click on installation instructions and this is that screen that we saw kind of in the middle where we were you know talking about installing it so it depends on what it is you have um, and then, or you can install manually. If you do have a WordPress site, I highly encourage you to use uh, something called Google Tag Manager for WordPress, uh, GTM, the number four WP, um, and that works fantastic uh, if you're using Tag Manager. So um, then you have this one as well. And so that, again, is how you set up your Google Analytics for in under 10 minutes. So you have your scripts ready to go. All right. Thank you so much for that, Julie. Again, if those of you who are uh, Academy for Marketers members, Academy for Professionals, or Academy for Agencies and Teams, you've got Ask an Instructor Support in your version of the Measurement Marketing Academy. So be sure to reach out to Julie if you have any questions, uh, as well as the rest of the instructor team back there waiting for you. Uh, and, then, you know, when I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking, you know, from my one thing perspective, right? What was my kind of one thing? It was that this can be done very quickly. And I think this is important. There are a lot of steps you can go back and you can spend, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes doing it a different form of a setup. I think it's important, especially if it is starting out with this platform, meaning GA4, if you're just beginning with GA4, get real focused on get good enough to get going and be okay with making progress. Then you come back and make it better later. And that's exactly what this workshop was all about. This helps you get up and running. It's a preliminary, very basic setup where there was a little bit of creation of the accounts, obviously, because you have to create your account, but you have to configure your account. And you saw some of those configuration options at least again that good enough to get going approach that's the secret with this platform just get up and running you'll come back and make it better later you'll come back and learn other parts of it later the important thing is get that initial win of making progress with it so you can start practicing with the platform that is how you will build skills one way at a time with one thing at a time all right now remember how it fits in the platform and this particular platform ga4 in the framework it allows you to collect more detailed information so you can ask bigger questions because of how the platform works. It's going to allow you to, to measure your results better, to get an easier to read story. It's gonna affect everything that's essentially in this. Um, so it's a very important tool. Just make sure that you don't just think the tool's gonna to save you. Just learning GA4 won't save you. It's having proper measurement strategy with the proper tools that will save you. So uh, of course you can use the measurement marketing strategy you see here in front of you. 
Now, next week's workshop is going to be how to set up GA4, this time with Google Tag Manager. So Julie mentioned in this workshop that this is all about the Google Tag. That's just the script, the very easy, simple uh, way of getting things started. If you're using Tag Manager, it's in a slightly different way. And Julie's going to walk you through that in next week's workshop. If you would like that workshop, just be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It will allow you to uh, see that at this point. So uh, just be sure to do that. Again, hit the like button, do all the fun stuff you're supposed to do to make sure you get this video. The other way you can do it is by, if you have not yet become a free member of the Measurement Marketing Academy, we have what we call the toolbox, which includes these workshops. You always see the most recent workshop Wednesday back there. Plus there's a bunch of tools. We've already got a Google Analytics for migration checklist back there waiting for you. Uh, there's an audit system back there waiting for you. There's a lot of things that are back there that you can use that we allow the free members to, to have. It's a, a, something like 40 tools back there. So um, it is there for you. We just ask that you use it. So every 90 days or so, we might ask you to... Uh, close the account if you're not using it. Um, but again, if you can keep it for as long as you want, as long as you're uh, logging in every 90 days or so. So that's the other way to uh, do that. And of course, completely free. Now to find about that option, as well as the other options of the Academy that are currently available to you, we do, rec you know, this is it. Join the Measure Marketing Academy. Again, there are free versions of it as well as, or the free version, I should say, as well as the other versions, but you can find them all at measure.tips forward slash get academy to learn more about that. Again, measure.tips forward slash get academy. With that, you have just completed Google Analytics 4, setting the whole thing up in 10 minutes or less. Thanks again for watching this workshop. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.